Hello and welcome to a new update of my CWI. Today you see the update video for version 1.3. In this version you will get a new function. You will get an iris shadow. So what you can do now is you can make shadows into the iris. My shadow function is very yeah, controllable, so you have a lot of options, mm, about four here, four options to control your shadow. It's not like in Photoshop a little bit, it's a little bit different, but you have uh, some more controls as I think. So, okay, let's see what we can do. At the moment we already see some shadow, it comes from the left upper side here. But the shadow is very smoothy, so we cannot see the shadow directly. So you see, here this option is responsible for the, for the shadow sharpness. Before I uh, show to you the functions, I switch uh, on my screencast keys so you can see what I'm pressing. Here we are. Okay, let's change the shadow sharpness of our Irish shadow. As soon as I make the sharpness to 100, so you see here the shadow border became very sharpened. I set the render border a bit smaller, so the refreshment will be faster. So here we are, and we see it again. Okay, this is here the shadow sharpness. So as you can see, when I move it to the left, so the shadow became more smoothy. Okay. So as you can see, the shadow is coming from the top left direction. If you want to change the direction where the shadow comes from, you can do it by using the shadow angle. As at the moment, the shadow angle is minus 40. In this area, I am using degrees. So if you set the shadow to zero, the shadow changes and comes from the top side here. So it means um, zero shadow angle means like 12 o'clock so it comes from the from the top and as soon as I am changing the degrees so you can see on the right side the shadow became or begins to rotate so so you can if you like rotate as uh, as much as you want uh, 360 rotation means it go all around here the z-axis and a rotation of 45 for example means the shadow comes from the top right side I've set it back to zero. The next one is the iris shadow position. The position and the angle works together. So what does it mean? When I set the shadow position to a value of zero, this is the lowest value, then you will see our shadow is going around the iris. So this area, the, the open shadow area, will uh, be in the center. So as soon as I am moving here the value, the shadow be begins to walk or to move down. So it does not move only down. For example, if I change the angle to 90, our shadow does not change, you think, but it have changed. It turned 90 degrees to the left here in this direction, uh, counterwise. So as soon as I now change the position, I change the position down so what it means into the direction if you if you would use the topper here so as you can see as soon as I am rotating the shadow rotates too okay this are the two functions that works together I set it to zero and this one set to zero okay the next one is is the shadow size this size is needed to change the radius here so, for example, when I change the radius to bigger or to a smaller value means a bigger bigger area or a smaller shadow, and the bigger shadow have to be changed by increasing this value here. So let's see what we can do with that with this. Let's see we uh, let's test the position. Let's we change it. So I will change the position now. Wait a bit too much. Okay. Click on or press Shift when you are changing this here. It's uh, so you can change the values a bit slightly. Yeah. So, or by changing here the values or typing them in, but with shift you can make the, the values a bit sm smoother. So what we can do now, what we, um, what we see is that there is, uh, there is a, uh, uh, yeah, uh, big shadow. So what we want is to make the horizon a bit, a bit bigger. In this case, 
we have to change the shadow size. So when I change the shadow size here, so you see, we can work with, with these two values. Now I'll change the position a bit. And in this, in this way, you can change the, the radius here, the horizon of your shadow. And if you put the, the uh, shadow sharpness a bit down, so you can make an interesting shadow effect here. At least you can, um, at the end, you can change the shadow color. So if you don't want to see a shadow, you just change the color to white. The reason for this is because I'm working with, uh, with uh, multiply effect. So I'm multiplying the color that is set here. So when you multiply white, so you don't see anything. So if you change it to black, so you have a very dark shadow here in the eye. In this way, you are able to change the intensity by the color value, by the brightness, and you can change, of course, the color. So if you like, you can, uh, for example, use a green one or a yellow one or a red color uh, of, of your shadow. And this way, can this uh, function of the shadow can be used for more effects for your eye. So if you want, you can, of course, change the colors here, change the sharpness, and you have a very interesting way to, to implement more effects or just a regular shadow just by changing here the color a bit and you have a nice shadow. So as you can see, you can see this shadow here in every angle and it works uh, as, as always with all other options like the, the iris size. So if you want, uh, you can change the iris size here a bit bigger. So I have a small iris border. This iris border size can be changed, of course, too. So in this way, so I have a slight round border. This border is uh, the regular effect in all version before, but the iris shadow color is now new. So what you can do is, for example, I can change the uh, iris size a bit for example what I like to is to make the shadow a bit sharpen so I have more control over my changes and now I change the position a bit with shift so in this way and I increase the, the smoothness again here we are for example and we have a nice new element. The pupil size can be changed, of course, too. A bit bigger. And we have a new eye. And it works nice. So, okay. So you see this here, this area, the shadow, the iris shadow color is a new uh, function you got now. You've got now in the new version, of course, as every time all updates are free if you are a customer of CWI and I hope you have fun with the new version. So I wish you a very nice and creative day. Bye bye.